This is um, Ephesians chapter 5 and I'll start at verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto our shine, right. so that the wives be to their own husbands and everything. Right. Husbands, love your wives even as Yahweh shall also love the church right. and gave himself for it. Right. That you want? No, no not that one. Not that one. Okay, no. Yeah? Okay, the wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands and unto the Lord. To your own husbands as unto the Lord. Right. For the Lord is the head of the wife, and, and the husband said, is the head of the you know, wife. You know, what, you know, what, you know what, what it said? It said, as unto the Lord. Right. Subject yourself to your husband as, as unto, unto the Lord. Lord. Right. For you the husband I mean? is the head of the wife. Right. Even as the Aosha is the head of the church. Right. And he is the savior of the body. So just like oh, the Aosha is saved the church, because the church is what? See, those same, <laughs> it all work around back to those same men. You know what I mean? Because the word church comes from the, the, um, the Greek, the Ecclesia, which means, which means what? To call out. So the men, them who calling out on the highways and byways, those men are potentially the elect, are members of the 140 and 4,000, which is the church, man. You know what I mean? That is the church. Since the Lord Yahushai is saving the church, he's gonna save the church, man. Which is those men. And those men is gonna save what? The wife, their wives, their children, and all that, man. Just like how Yahushai is the savior of the body, which is the church. You know what I mean? The church is gonna save who the Lord put it in them to save, man. You know what I mean? That's how salvation is gonna come. No people don't like to hear that. You know what I mean? No, no people wouldn't like um them fear their um basically rest upon men where they mean basically that's that's what um that's how the um the wicked squares and, and um, them wicked Jews back then. You know what I mean? In the land. See that's how them them, them see Yahweh shy, them them actually say oh, we don't want this man to be a king to reign over we. As in, in, in Congo and Nazareth, and not the good king of Nazareth. You know what I mean? So the same notion is going to be out there um, regarding to the 144,000 men. You know what I mean? But hey, some, um, we call him, Jehovah's the Witness to the Rada, 144,000 piece of white cracker. You know what I mean? And then with a second for less. You know? What? Um, Isaiah chapter 13 verse 12 right. I will make a man more precious than fine gold Right, and those men uh, as, as we are going earlier going, going to the scriptures earlier Showing you who are those men You go on And I will make a man more precious than fine gold Right Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir Right See Those men is going to be special men And the scriptures say it again They say, oh look My people shall be willing if it, In the day of thy power you know what I mean? So, the people is going to answer to those men. And those men are the teachers, and they are also the... Executioners. Uh, yeah, the hunters, the executioners. Um, when, when they are... When they are um, mm -hmm. yeah. um, yeah. See? So that's the order, man. See me? So, basically, when you, when you see us out here saying what we are saying, or you see brothers worldwide saying what they are saying, basically, when you come up against them, you're basically coming up against your judge, your jury, and the executioner, man. You're commit, uh, committing, committing all the sins before the judge, the jury, and the executioner, man. You know what I mean? Those same men you come up against, you don't have to go face those men in the time to come, man. Right, the scripture says, I'm going to put punishment on the people. Right. You know what I mean? It's um, to, to bind their kings with chains and um, the nobles with feathers of iron. That priest up there, it tells you they're going to put punishment on the people, man. Right, which is all people. Yeah? One brother? 
Right. This is our um, second print and she has a 10. Go to the point there. Right. right. Oh, okay. Let's read and come down. Alright, 10 verse 3, 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3. Right. But though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Right. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right, and we are, we, are, we are not battlefield right now, man. We are not battlefield right now, fighting that fight. Right. Who else is to fight in a fight? You know what I mean? Brothers, we out here fighting the fight. Um, week in, week out. One. It says, but mighty. To Yahweh, to the cooling down of strongholds, right? Casting down imagination. So we all take a challenge and to take down all of them lies, man. The lies that been spread. Whether it's through your religion, we 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 we'll be a part of right now, or whatsoever philosophy. Oh dear, man. You see me when they want me politics. You know what I mean? When you learn at college, you know what I mean? Are these religious institutions? We all take a tear down all those lies, man. Give it a straight skinny. One. Right. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and right. bring it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Yahweh shine. Right. And have it in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. Right, so we have it in a readiness to, readiness to avenge all disobedience, man. When your obedience is so fulfilled. So when our obedience is fulfilled, when the um, fishing season comes to an end, sin, we're going to ready. To put the fire to a nigger. You know what I mean? Directly command from the Lord, man. It's not gonna be our vengeance, it's gonna be the Lord's vengeance, man. Right. Um, and about guess what? The Lord's vengeance is our vengeance. Right. You know what I mean? Continue. Not Jeremiah, personal, man. Jeremiah yeah. 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, say right. the Lord. Right. And they shall fish them. Right, so we are. Brothers out here in the highway and byway, we are the many fishers, man. Right. Fishing for the rest of the brothers, man. One. Right. And afterward, will I send for many hunters? And afterward, many hunters. And hunters are coming at every farm. They'll come as the men of the Lord. And it's going to come as them, them cracker men, them Edomites. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Hunting season everywhere around. Right. You know what I mean? Everywhere around. And after will I send for many hunters, right. and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill, right. and out of the the, the, flock, the holes of the rocks. Right, so even when the nuclear destruction go down, seeing all who hide off every weapon on the earth, and they're going to be taken, especially those Edomites, hide off all over the earth, you're going to be taken from the holes, man. Right. You know what I mean? And we're going to exact judgment on you. God's, God's willing. Yeah? God, this is um, Luke chapter 19, verse 27. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them for me. Right, and that's how it's going to be. Judgment. That is a judgment. You know what I mean? So now, and all the time, what else is going to be out here that a man can laugh and scoff at them and you know, having them as a spectacle. You know? That like they could laugh at, not all the time. It's gonna be that way. Yeah. Right? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him right. and made no account of his labors. Right. When they see it, they shall fear, which they shall be troubled with terrible fear, right. and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right. So far beyond all that they look for. Right, because they're not expecting someone to come up from Ankara and come and talk things that they never give a fuck about. They never they expect that they don't get delivered with. Gone. You know what I mean? Well, it says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit right. shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in the region right. and a proverb of reproach. Right. We fools accounted his life madness. Hey, them call me all type of names out here, man. I don't know what kind of name from the planet they call me, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Down to the smallest one. Yeah. 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 We fools hey. accounted his life madness. 
Yeah, they're watching the cellar. They're the cellar, they're watching the cellar. Basically, he's a madman, I'm a devil, basically. You know what I mean? And his end to be without honor. Right. How is he numbered among the children of God? Right. And his lot is among the saints. Right. So they might expect nothing good out come of women. Them, them convicted in the mind that nothing good is going to come of us, man. <laughs> they so believe that. Say if anything good can come from Nazareth. They believe that more than all them believe in the most high. Yeah, how about Shem Rashai? I'm sure. You know, them minds that not come out. Not, not, nothing good is going to become of us, man. You know what I mean? We're gonna, gonna be, um, wake up to this rude awakening, man. Yeah? Right. This is um, about to the other thing. Yeah. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, and I'll start at verse 20. But now is your house shall risen from the dead, right. and become the first fruits of them that slept. Right. And the word first fruit go up to the Greek aparte, right. and it means person superior in excellence to others of the same class. All right. Right. See, now we're breaking down what the elect is about. Right. And who is those kings and who is those priests that the scriptures are what, um, the scriptures we're, we're, we're speaking about? Right. See? Which go back to here. 144,000. Who are the first fruits, man? Right. Hey, say that. You know say what I mean? That. Yeah. See? It says, for since by man came death. By man came also the resurrection of the dead. Right. For as in Adam all die, even so in your shy shall all be made alive. Right. But every man in his own order. But every man in his own order, man. Right. And that's what people don't understand this time around. Some of you just of us get the next catch the next bus, man. Right. Two charges gonna, gonna, gonna have to catch the next bus. Right. That's how it is, man. Some of you just gonna die. Catch the next trip. Just like that, man. See? If I if you don't find yourself in a camp and do this thing that means hey yo, this ride is not for you. You're standing on that side, and brother standing on this side, this trip is not for you. And it's obvious, man. Just like when Moses is saying, yeah. on the Lord's side, come over Mother's, here. Yes. You know? One. Well, Isaac. Right. It's about every man is what order. Right. Yahweh Shai the first fruits. Right. And afterward, they that are Yahweh Shai is at his coming. Right. They that are Yahweh Shai is at, 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 at his coming. Who are those? The elect, man. The 140 and 4,000. The man in his current order, which is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, the 12 apostles, the chief, the David, the king. See? And from here on. Then the last the structure of whosoever is gonna be under that twelve. Right.